In this episode, we talk job fair tips so you're not an awkward penguin. What's up everyone, this is Jake Voorhees and you are watching episode 10 of the 1% Engineer Show. For this video we're getting back to our top 10 job tips for engineers and this is part 5. In the last show I had to document my summary of the Real Talk Summit while it was fresh. Maybe you can forgive me, it's to your benefit. Okay back to the show. That's right, job fair terror. Many students freak out when it comes to job fairs or job expos, whatever you want to call it. But just like in episode 4 where I break down a job and Interview, this advice is quite similar. What they're really looking for is two things. Do you stand out and can you actually communicate? Unlike the awkward penguin who sucks. Once you understand this, the job fair will be as easy as intro to psychology. Sorry psychology freshman, how did you even find this channel? So here's three tips on how to crush a job fair so you don't have to work at grandma's apple orchard over the summer. One, stalk people on LinkedIn. That's right, yeah, I said it. If you don't know this LinkedIn arbitrage technique yet, I'm about to change your life. For job fairs, companies send employees who graduated from your university, generally young ones who can relate to students. So go to LinkedIn, find the search filter, and do this. Choose your geographic location, your school and search all of the companies that you're interested in. Three tiers of filtering. And when young people come up who fit these criteria, chances are they will be at the job fair running a booth for that company. I can 100% guarantee if you print off bios for these people who fit those three criteria, and if you walk up to them and already know their name and a little bit of information about them, this feeling of celebrity will go to their head and they will remember you forever. You will stand out far beyond all the other kids at the job fair that day. And then when you follow up and request an informational meeting, which will We'll talk about later they will certainly remember you they will certainly oblige yeah this is a pro tip it's the best advice of this episode either way I have more though Two, research the companies no don't just be familiar with what the company does everyone does that you need to stand out go to that company's website blog social media and figure out what is relevant right now yeah any awards or accolades new big project announcements anything like this is your advantage in the conversations with these people be relevant with your conversation it also makes for an excellent icebreaker when you walk up to that person so you're not an awkward penguin and finally tip number three dress for success yup it might seem simple but you will be shocked how many engineers dress unprofessionally for job fairs in today's era the rise to millennial supremacy so many young people think they can avoid dressing up this is just ridiculous dress for the role that you want in life attire adds to your credibility so if you want to be a baller in life you better wear a suit men and women included wear a suit or at least a jacket jacket with no tie is my personal favorite you can even rock dark jeans with a jacket it looks great trust me wear a suit or a jacket you will not regret it you will feel like a boss when you walk around and look great it adds your confidence too. dress for success so in summary today guys the three lessons are hack LinkedIn research the companies and dress for success question of the day what job do you have lined up for this summer stay tuned for episode 11 where I talk about using your career center for help thanks for watching the 1% engineer show guys and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer cheers Thank you.